Hi everyone, I'm Aaliyah Green. Though I'm going to share a poem with you today, I can promise you my journey with depression was anything but poetic. It was mostly sleepless nights, losing my will to live, and pretending I was mentally stable just so I could avoid the relentless question, are you okay? Well, I'm not okay, but I'm brave. Today, I'll be sharing a piece with you called Little Do You Know. And this is my brave. Many of you probably would never assume this about me, but I suffer from depression. Yes, sometimes I tend to carry a smile so bright that I almost seem unbreakable. But behind that smile is a girl trying to make peace with her broken pieces. So she keeps smiling, but it's all just a show. My favorite thing to do in the world is acting. When I was younger, I dreamed of being an actress for a living. Today, I found my dream come true, but not in the way I planned. In the theater, I've taken on numerous roles, but none compared to the one I played every day. I got so into my character that those around me actually thought they knew me. But little do they know, I'm a child of a struggling single mother. Little do they know, if I could be granted one wish right now, I'd wish for my brother. Little do they know, I'm a girl that continues to grow up without the love of a father. Little do they know, I would tell them all this, but I hate to be a bother. Little do they know, I'm a girl that can still feel the weight of sticky notes written with hurtful words on her back. Little do they know, those notes create long-lasting insecurities. So until this day, I try to make up for what I lack. And because you will never know what I feel, you think my depression isn't real. Just like how you think Racism isn't real because you never experienced it. Just like how you think dreams can't become real because yours haven't come true. Just like how you think a solution to our world's problems isn't real. But here's the deal. Little do you know you're living in a show. A man once said, give them bread and circuses and they will never revolt. So is that why society puts issues like racism to a halt? We blame society, but we are society. So don't act if it isn't your fault. Do you know while you're at home watching Adele accept her Grammy, our president is separating a child from their family? Why is it that you can tell me the brand name of the shoes Kim Kardashian wears, but you can't tell me why a man killed himself and nobody seems to care? Could it just be that you don't want to face reality? No, dude. You're used to your new sugar coated, so how about this? Roses are red, fruit is savory, the US prison system is basically legalized slavery. Was that sweet enough for you to digest? Would you like to hear me finish the rest? See, as you dance around the situation, you affect what will one day be our future generation. Grades are getting low, teens are getting high, a 12 year old is pregnant and her parents wonder, why? Who isn't faded these days? Teens are sending nudes, kids are getting beaten, teachers see the bruises, no calls for help are spoken, teens are smoking weed, young girls are cutting, this isn't what we need. A little girl has killed herself. Nobody seems to care. Another kid has been expelled for a stupid dare. But it needs to change. Our world is officially broken. It's time to take a stand. Your thoughts need to be spoken. This morning, I got up got ready, looked in the mirror, and decided, despite what I've been told over the years, 
I'm not ugly. But society, it is. I also decided that it was okay that I'm broken because so is the world. Beautiful mosaics are made of broken pieces. I am one broken piece, part of a beautiful world. I impact the world, but I don't shape it. Granted, I'm an 18 year old girl. I haven't seen most of the world and the most of the world hasn't seen me. I don't walk on water, but I like to think the man that did gave me a gift. This gift to somehow change someone in just three to five minutes. Open the minds of the most close-minded people to inform and educate with simple words. My words. There's so much we don't know about our world or let alone each other. After all, before this speech, many of you thought you knew me. There now may be many things you question about me, like why do I do this every year? Well, I can tell you it's not for the money or the fame. So I can take part in raising a generation that knows this is the world they're living in and they shape every fragment of it. It took me a long time to develop a voice and now that I have it, I'm not gonna be silent. So I encourage you to use your voice. I encourage you to stand up for what you believe in, even if you're standing alone. I encourage you to raise your words, not your voice. Because in an empty field, it is the rain that grows the flowers, not the thunder.